In Jim's video, which we're about to show you, you'll see this preheater has been pre-installed inside of it an evaporator hood. Jim will cover the purpose of these connections, as well as the unique features of this drip tray. Now we're connecting all the sap lines to the evaporator. Much of this was done at the shop. This will be the set where the sap enters the system. The owners of the evaporator will connect that later on. Here's where I'm going to connect a vent. That's going to be a copper tube that I run up into the attic. I want it to be as high as possible so that no matter how much head pressure they have, it won't leak out of that vent. This is a drain to drain the preheater. This is the sap line where hot sap from the preheater enters the float box and into the system. Again, preheater drain, hot sap feeding the evaporator, cold sap in. This is the vent that serves the preheater. Here's the preheater. It's the best preheater in the world. Unlike our competitors' preheaters where the steam has to go around the drain, the drip tray where the condensation is captured, ours goes through. It's welcomed through the drip tray. And all of the condensation from the pipes is still caught in the center of these V-troughs. It's the most efficient preheater in the industry by far. We see about a 20% gain in efficiency with this preheater. Please be sure to check out chapter 4 of this series as Jim will be routing hot water from the hood drain to fill this water jacketed draw off tank. This is a resourceful way to keep syrup hot for free. This is what it boils down to. Have a great day.